It never gets easier because there's always something to figure out. At first glance, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes seemed like Hollywood's golden couple. Their romance dazzled the world. And Tom's infamous moment on Oprah's couch, leaping with excitement, declaring his love for Katie, only solidified the intensity of their relationship. It was passionate, it was public, and it was impossible to ignore. But then, out of nowhere, everything changed. What really went wrong between the two? Was it just a classic case of love fizzling out? Or was there something much deeper, something darker, lurking behind the scenes? Join us as we take a closer look into the shocking truth about what caused this Hollywood power couple's relationship to crumble. From the obsessive control to the hidden hand of Scientology, which lead Tom to losing custody to his daughter, will reveal the real reason Katie Holmes had to make an unexpected and dramatic exit. The shift in the fairy tale, marriage takes a darker turn. As Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes settled into their marriage, the once enchanting love story began to reveal more complicated layers. The media and public, initially enamored by their seemingly perfect relationship, started to notice signs that all was not as idyllic as it had first appeared. Central to this shift in perception was Cruz's deep connection to the Church of Scientology, a relationship that had long been a source of fascination and controversy. Tom Cruise's ties to Scientology were well established long before his marriage to Katie Holmes. As one of the Church's most visible members, Cruz had become an ardent advocate for its teachings, frequently using his fame to promote the organization's philosophy and defend its practices. Scientology was more than a religion to him. It shaped his worldview, decisions, and daily life. Over time, Cruz became one of the most vocal supporters of the church, often crediting it with his success and personal growth. However, as his marriage to Holmes progressed, the influence of Scientology became a point of intense public scrutiny. Reports emerged suggesting that the church played an outsized role in the couple's private life, with its reach extending beyond spiritual matters. As rumors circulated, many questioned whether the religion had an undue influence over Holmes, a woman raised Catholic and previously disconnected from the world of Scientology. One of the most persistent rumors centered around Katie Holmes' sudden conversion to Scientology shortly after she began dating Cruz. Her quick adoption of the church's teachings raised eyebrows, leading to widespread speculation that she had been pressured or encouraged to convert. While some maintained it was a personal decision, others believed it was part of a broader effort to mold Holmes into Cruz's world, where Scientology was an all-encompassing way of life. Holmes' abrupt entry into the church was seen by critics as part of a broader pattern within Scientology, where new members, particularly those connected to prominent figures, were groomed to conform to its strict guidelines. This sudden shift, combined with her high-profile relationship with Cruz, only intensified the public's fascination with how much influence Scientology wielded over the actress. As time went on, the media became fixated on the increasing isolation Holmes appeared to experience. Reports suggested that her life, once vibrant and connected to friends and family, had grown insular. Allegations emerged that Holmes' phone and internet usage were being monitored and that she had little freedom in her daily activities. These stories painted a picture of a woman living under tight control, with Cruz and the powerful church closely watching her every move. Holmes, once known for her outgoing and cheerful demeanor, seemed to undergo a transformation. Public appearances showed a more reserved and subdued version of herself, a stark contrast to the carefree image she had cultivated earlier in her career. Her frequent radiant smile became rarer, replaced by a more somber expression, fueling rumors that her marriage to Cruz and the pressures associated with it were weighing heavily on her. Raising Suri, Scientology's role in their daughter's upbringing. One of the most controversial elements of the marriage was the speculation surrounding their daughter, Suri. 
Many believed that Scientology played a significant role in decisions about Suri's upbringing, with reports suggesting that the church had a vested interest in grooming her to follow in her father's footsteps. This secrecy surrounding her early years fueled public curiosity and concern about how much influence the church had over her education and development. While details about Suri's life were closely guarded, the speculation was endless. The church's reputation for being deeply involved in the lives of its members added to the concerns that Suri's upbringing was being shaped by the same forces that had reportedly affected Holmes' life. The public wondered whether Suri, too, was being groomed within the church's framework, adding another layer of complexity to the couple's already scrutinized marriage. Throughout much of this period, Katie Holmes maintained a public silence regarding the inner workings of her marriage and her life with Cruz. This silence only added to the intrigue. Her reluctance to discuss the specifics of her relationship with the Church of Scientology and her day-to-day -day experiences left many questions unanswered. In rare interviews, Holmes would provide only vague insights into her personal struggles. In one interview, she hinted at the pressures she faced, saying, there was a lot of attention on me and I had to figure out what was important and what wasn't. I had to prioritize my daughter and my own happiness. This cryptic statement suggested an internal conflict, with Holmes trying to navigate the intense scrutiny of her public life while maintaining a sense of personal autonomy and protecting her daughter. Despite the denials from Cruz and the Church of Scientology regarding the allegations of control and undue influence, rumors persisted. The media, tabloids, and even more reputable outlets frequently speculated about the power dynamics within Cruz and Holmes' marriage. Cruz's unwavering dedication to the church and its rumored involvement in the couple's personal decisions created an air of suspicion that never fully dissipated. These concerns were not unique to Cruz and Holmes. Scientology had long been criticized for its alleged control over its members, particularly high-profile figures. The Church's secretive nature, coupled with high-profile defections and vocal critics, had made it a frequent target of public skepticism. For many, the combination of Holmes's public silence and the Church's controversial reputation was enough to believe that there was more happening behind the scenes than the couple let on. 2005 the start of a high-profile romance. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes' paths converged in 2005, a year that marked a pivotal shift in both of their lives. By that point, Cruise was a household name, regarded as one of Hollywood's most iconic figures. With a resume boasting hits like Top Gun, Jerry Maguire, and the Mission Impossible series, Cruise's magnetic presence had earned him global adoration. Known for his boyish charm and infectious laugh, he was at the peak of his career, solidifying his place among Hollywood royalty. Katie Holmes, on the other hand, was primarily recognized for her role as Joey Potter in the popular teen drama Dawson's Creek. While she had not yet achieved the same level of stardom as Cruz, she was a rising talent with a growing fan base. Holmes's girl-next-door persona and natural beauty endeared her to many, and she was seen as a relatable, grounded figure in contrast to the more glamorous, larger-than-life personalities often found in Hollywood. The way their lives intertwined seemed almost like a destined event. Holmes, who had previously admitted to having a crush on Cruz in her younger years, had long admired him. In fact, she once openly stated that she had fantasized about marrying the famous actor. That childhood dream would soon become a reality in ways she could have never predicted. Their whirlwind romance began with a public debut in April 2005, just months after they started dating. Almost immediately, their relationship became a hot topic in the media. The pairing of Cruz, the seasoned superstar, and Holmes, the fresh-faced young actress, sparked intrigue. Their significant age gap, Cruz was 16 years older, only added to the public's fascination. Despite this, the chemistry between them was undeniable, and their romance quickly took center stage in the world of celebrity gossip. One of the most iconic and talked-about moments in Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes' early relationship 
came during Cruz's now infamous appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show in May 2005. At the time, Cruz and Holmes had only been dating publicly for a month, and the world was still adjusting to the news of their whirlwind romance. But no one could have predicted just how intensely Cruz would express his feelings on that day. During the interview, Oprah asked Cruz about his relationship with Holmes, and what followed would become one of the most memorable moments in television history. Unable to contain his emotions, Cruz stood up, jumped on the couch, and repeatedly declared, I'm in love, I'm in love. His exuberance didn't stop there. Cruz fist pumped the air, crouched down on his knees, and continued professing his love with a level of energy that left the audience both stunned and entertained. The outburst of emotion was genuine, but it felt so unexpected and theatrical that it became instantly memorable even before the era of viral internet moments. This display quickly became one of the earliest viral sensations, circulating in media long before social platforms like Twitter and YouTube dominated. However, while some found Cruz's enthusiasm endearing, others viewed it as unsettling, wondering if his intense public display masked deeper complexities in the relationship. The incident sparked widespread discussion, with many questioning whether Cruz's over-the-top behavior reflected the true nature of his relationship with Holmes, or hinted at personal pressures and insecurities. Regardless of the public's interpretation, the Oprah couch moment remains a cultural touchstone, forever tied to Cruz's relationship with Holmes, and contributing to the media frenzy that would follow them for years to come. An engagement in Paris, a grand gesture. In June 2005, just two months after their relationship became public, Cruz proposed to Holmes in a gesture that was both grand and dramatic, in line with the intensity that had characterized their relationship thus far. The proposal took place at the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, a setting as iconic and romantic as one could imagine. Cruz proudly presented Holmes with a five-carat diamond ring, and their engagement was announced to the world. The speed at which their relationship progressed fueled media speculation. But to the couple, it seemed that everything was unfolding perfectly. In October 2005, more news from the couple rocked Hollywood. Holmes was pregnant. In April 2006, they welcomed their daughter Suri into the world. The media frenzy surrounding the birth was unparalleled. Cruz and Holmes initially chose to keep their daughter out of the public eye, which only heightened curiosity and speculation. The couple's decision to keep such a tight veil over their private lives led to rumors, particularly about Cruz's deep involvement with the Church of Scientology and how it might influence their family dynamics. During this time, Cruz and Holmes were frequently seen together at high-profile events, often hand-in-hand, hand, radiating what appeared to be genuine affection. They were Hollywood's golden couple, a beautiful, successful pair, living out what seemed like a fairy tale. Cruz, the seasoned star, and Holmes, his adoring partner, projected an image of bliss and perfection to the world. However, while the surface image was that of a perfect love story, cracks began to emerge. The rapid pace of their relationship, Cruz's public outbursts of emotion, and the ever-present question of Scientology's role in their lives led many to question whether their relationship was as idyllic as it appeared. One of the most controversial aspects of their relationship was Cruz's deep involvement in Scientology. Long associated with the Church, Cruz was not just a member but one of its most visible and vocal supporters. As their relationship progressed, it became increasingly clear that Scientology played a significant role in their lives. For Holmes, who had been raised Catholic, this was a profound shift. Rumors swirled about the church's influence on their marriage, particularly after reports surfaced that Holmes had become involved in the Scientology practices. Holmes reportedly underwent Scientology training, and there were persistent rumors about the church's involvement in her decisions, particularly regarding the upbringing of their daughter. 
The public began to speculate about the pressures Holmes faced and whether her involvement with Cruz had come at a personal cost. The Event of a Lifetime, The Wedding of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes When Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes decided to get married, their union was destined to be a spectacle of unparalleled grandeur. The couple was not just tying the knot, but solidifying their place as one of Hollywood's most glamorous and talked-about pairs. As the public eagerly speculated on every aspect of the wedding, from the guest list to the venue, it was clear that this event would surpass anything Hollywood had seen before. On November 18, 2006, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes exchanged vows at Otis Kalki Castle, a 15th-century fortress overlooking Lake Bracciano in Italy. This venue was no ordinary wedding location. Its ancient walls and picturesque views of the Italian countryside were the perfect embodiment of the couple's larger-than-life romance. The castle, with its storied history and timeless beauty, set the stage for a wedding that felt more like a royal affair than a Hollywood celebration. The choice of such a dramatic and romantic setting was no accident. Much like the couple's relationship, it was designed to capture the essence of a fairy tale, complete with a stunning backdrop that would be remembered for years to come. The guest list read like a veritable who's who of Hollywood royalty. Some of the most famous faces in the entertainment industry were present to witness the highly anticipated nuptials. Attendees included Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, David and Victoria Beckham, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, and fellow Scientologist John Travolta. Each of these A-list guests further elevated the event's status, making it one of the most high-profile weddings in modern celebrity history. The gathering of such illustrious and well-successful figures under one roof created an air of exclusivity and glamour that few weddings could rival. It wasn't just a marriage, it was a cultural phenomenon, marking a moment when two worlds, Hollywood's elite and the controversial Church of Scientology, collided. Katie Holmes was the picture of elegance on her wedding day. She wore a custom Giorgio Armani gown, crafted specifically for her by the renowned Italian designer. The dress was a masterpiece, featuring a fitted bodice, off-the-shoulder sleeves, and a flowing train that gave her an almost regal air. Her lace veil added a touch of delicacy, while her bouquet of cream-colored flowers contrasted perfectly against the castle's grand stone walls. Meanwhile, Tom Cruise, in a classic Armani tuxedo, exuded pride as he stood next to his bride. His joy was palpable, and together, the couple appeared to embody the very image of Hollywood perfection. Their wedding attire, combined with the breathtaking setting, made the day feel like a page from a storybook. Though the ceremony was filled with romance, it also reflected the unique aspects of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes's relationship, particularly their involvement with the Church of Scientology. The wedding followed Scientology rites, a decision that, while expected given Cruz's long-standing connection to the church, still raised eyebrows. This marked one of the first times the public had seen a high-profile wedding conducted according to Scientology customs. The couple exchanged vows in a Scientology service that focused on mutual respect and personal integrity, principles that were central to their relationship. However, the vows were unconventional when compared to mainstream religious ceremonies, and this only heightened the intrigue surrounding the event. One of the most controversial aspects of the wedding was Katie Holmes' conversion to Scientology. Having been raised in a Catholic household, her decision to adopt Cruz's religion was seen as a significant departure from her upbringing. For some, this move was a sign of the control Scientology and Cruz may have had over her decisions. Holmes' shift from Catholicism to Scientology was not taken lightly by her family or the public. There were concerns that her conversion was not entirely voluntary, but rather a necessary step to fully integrate into Cruz's world. These concerns were amplified by the public's general skepticism of Scientology, a religion that has long been shrouded in secrecy 
and controversy. The church's influence over high-profile members, including Cruz, had been the subject of much media attention, and Holmes' involvement only fueled that narrative. Despite the undercurrents of controversy, the wedding day itself was a joyful celebration. The couple exchanged loving glances throughout the ceremony, their affection for each other evident in every moment. After the formalities, a grand reception followed, complete with gourmet Italian cuisine, an elaborate wedding cake, and dancing under the stars. Guests were treated to the finest wines and culinary delights, with the festivities continuing late into the night. While the wedding seemed like a magical event on the surface, the inclusion of Scientology rituals and the lavish nature of the celebrations raised questions. For many, the event symbolized more than just the union of two people. It represented the blending of Hollywood glamour with the enigmatic and often criticized world of Scientology. As the couple left Otaskalki Castle, embarking on the next chapter of their lives together, they appeared to have it all. They were a beautiful family, had immense wealth, and had just experienced one of the most extraordinary weddings in modern celebrity history. But beneath the surface, there were growing concerns about the influence Scientology might have on Holmes and the dynamics of their marriage. The intense public scrutiny that followed their relationship from the start only intensified after the wedding. For some, Holmes' conversion to Scientology and her rapid integration into Cruz's life were troubling signs of deeper issues. What was once seen as a fairy tale romance was now beginning to show cracks, and the seeds of doubt planted during the wedding would continue to grow, eventually leading to the unraveling of their relationship. This pivotal event marked the high point of their union, but it also foreshadowed the complexities and challenges that lay ahead. June 2012, the divorce announcement. In June 2012, the world was caught off guard when news broke that Katie Holmes had filed for divorce from Tom Cruise, ending their five-year marriage. The announcement was more than just another Hollywood split. It was a bombshell. Holmes, who had often appeared publicly as a supportive partner to Cruise, made her move in a manner that shocked not only the public, but Cruise himself. The secrecy surrounding Holmes' actions and the suddenness of her decision raised questions about what had been happening behind closed doors. What emerged was the story of a meticulously planned exit, executed with strategic precision. Katie Holmes' decision to file for divorce in New York City was far from random. The choice of this jurisdiction was strategic, offering her better legal standing when it came to gaining custody of their daughter, Suri. Reports indicated that Holmes had been planning her exit for months, a revelation that added a layer of intrigue to an already sensational story. She had even gone as far as renting a private apartment in Manhattan, a secret hideaway separate from the opulent home she shared with Cruz. This quiet sanctuary became the base from which she plotted her next steps, away from both Cruz and the influence of Scientology, which had come to dominate much of their marriage. Perhaps the most shocking aspect of Holmes's divorce filing was her request for sole custody of Suri. This decision signaled that Holmes was not just seeking to end her marriage. She was also fighting for the right to control her daughter's future, something that may have been difficult within the confines of her marriage to Cruz. By filing for sole custody, Holmes made it clear that she wanted to protect Suri from what she likely perceived as external forces influencing their lives, particularly Scientology. The rapid pace at which the divorce was finalized, just 11 days after Holmes filed, indicated that she had prepared for every possible outcome and was determined to secure the best possible result for both her and Suri. The divorce settlement, which granted Holmes primary custody of Suri and allowed Cruz generous visitation rights, was resolved unusually quickly for such a high-profile case. This swiftness left the public wondering what had driven Holmes to act with such urgency. While the divorce was settled amicably, the secrecy surrounding the proceedings and the speed of the resolution only fueled further speculation. 
Many theorized that Holmes had been determined to extricate herself and Suri from the influence of Scientology, the controversial organization to which Cruz was deeply committed. For years, rumors had circulated about how much influence the Church of Scientology had on Tom Cruise's life, and by extension, his relationships. Cruz's ties to the church were well known, but as his marriage to Holmes progressed, speculation about Scientology's role in their family life intensified. Holmes, who was raised Catholic, was reportedly uncomfortable with the idea of Suri being raised in Scientology, and her concerns likely played a significant role in her decision to leave. The speed and secrecy of her actions suggested that she was taking steps to protect her daughter from what she may have seen as the church's undue influence. Though neither Cruz nor Holmes ever publicly confirmed that Scientology was a major factor in their split, the media quickly latched onto the theory. The narrative of Holmes as a mother fighting to shield her daughter from a powerful organization gained traction, painting her as both courageous and determined. Her calculated moves, filing for divorce in New York, securing sole custody, and finalizing the divorce in record time, were seen as part of a larger effort to reclaim her life and ensure Suri's future outside the bounds of Scientology. The public and media response to the divorce was intense. News outlets around the globe scrambled to uncover every detail of Holmes's meticulously executed escape from her marriage. The story had all the elements of a Hollywood thriller, secrecy, high stakes, and a dramatic exit. Holmes's actions were widely praised, with many seeing her as a woman who had taken extraordinary steps to protect herself and her daughter from forces beyond her control. Holmes's transformation in the public eye was equally dramatic. Once viewed as Cruz's quiet and somewhat passive partner, she emerged from the divorce as a figure of strength and resilience. The public sympathized with her, particularly as more details surfaced about the calculated length she had gone to in order to secure her and Suri's safety and privacy. While Holmes's actions were calculated, Tom Cruise was reportedly blindsided by the divorce. Friends and insiders described him as being genuinely shocked and heartbroken by Holmes's sudden departure. The rapid resolution of the divorce, with neither party engaging in a prolonged public battle, suggested that both were eager to move on and avoid further scrutiny. However, the divorce marked a significant turning point for Cruz. It led to renewed attention on his relationship with Scientology, with the public and media speculating on the extent to which the church had influenced his personal life and contributed to the breakdown of his marriage. After the divorce, a new chapter for Holmes. Following the divorce, Katie Holmes retreated from the Hollywood spotlight, focusing on raising Surrey in New York City. Her decision to step away from the limelight appeared to be part of her effort to provide a more stable, private life for her daughter. Holmes's public image had shifted dramatically, from Cruz's younger wife to a strong, independent woman who had reclaimed her autonomy and her role as a mother. Meanwhile, Tom Cruise continued his successful career in the film industry, though his personal life remained a subject of intense speculation. His ongoing commitment to Scientology kept him in the public eye, with many wondering how much the church continued to shape his relationships and daily life. The divorce between Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise remains one of the most closely analyzed celebrity breakups in recent history. It highlighted the complex pressures that can exist within high-profile relationships, particularly when powerful external forces like religion and public image are involved. The speed and secrecy of the split, along with the dramatic circumstances surrounding Holmes's actions, ensured that it would be remembered as a defining moment in both their lives. For many, the divorce also served as a broader commentary on the lengths to which individuals, particularly mothers, will go to protect their children. Holmes's actions were viewed as a testament to the strength of maternal love and the determination to safeguard her daughter's future, even in the face of overwhelming power. In this light, the holmes Cruz divorce is not just a story of a marriage ending, but a narrative of personal empowerment and resilience.
Tom Cruise's continued success and complex public image. In the years following his divorce from Katie Holmes, Tom Cruise's career thrived, seemingly unaffected by the highly publicized end of their marriage. His most notable work during this period came from the Mission Impossible series, which continued to elevate his status as one of Hollywood's most consistent and bankable stars. Each installment of the franchise was met with critical and commercial acclaim, in large part due to Cruz's commitment to performing his own stunts. This dedication, often pushing the limits of physical endurance and personal safety, solidified his reputation as an actor willing to go to extreme lengths for authenticity. His daring stunts, from scaling the Burj Khalifa to hanging off the side of airplanes, added to the legendary status that surrounded him in the film industry. Despite this professional success, Cruz's personal life and public image remained complicated, largely because of his deep involvement with the Church of Scientology. His long-standing connection to the Church has been a point of both admiration and criticism. To Scientology members, Cruz is viewed as a hero, someone who has used his global platform to bring legitimacy and attention to their cause. However, to the wider public, his commitment to Scientology has often sparked questions about how much influence the organization has over his personal and professional choices. The relationship between Cruz and his daughter, Suri, has remained one of the most discussed and speculated aspects of his personal life. Since the divorce in 2012, it has been reported that Cruz has had limited contact with Suri, leading to widespread speculation about the reasons behind their estrangement. One possible explanation points to the Church of Scientology's practice of disconnection. This controversial policy encourages members to sever ties with individuals who leave or criticize the religion, which may have contributed to Cruz's apparent distance from Suri after Holmes left the church. Although neither Cruz nor Holmes has spoken publicly about the details of the arrangement, the lack of visible interaction between Cruz and his daughter has left a lasting impact on his public persona. In contrast to Cruz, Katie Holmes chose a different path after their divorce, prioritizing her role as a mother to Surrey over her career. Holmes's decision to step away from the Hollywood spotlight and raise her daughter in a more private, grounded environment was a conscious effort to provide Suri with a stable upbringing, far removed from the intense public scrutiny that had defined their lives during Holmes's marriage to Cruz. After the divorce, Holmes and Suri settled in New York City, where they embraced a quieter lifestyle. Holmes has frequently spoken about her desire to protect Suri from the pressures of fame, making it clear that her primary focus was on giving her daughter as normal a childhood as possible under the circumstances. I want my daughter to have a stable, innocent childhood, Holmes said in an interview, reflecting her commitment to shielding Suri from the chaos that often accompanies celebrity life. While Holmes continued to pursue acting, her post-divorce career has been more selective and low-profile compared to her years with Cruz. Her roles have reflected a clear shift in priorities, with Holmes choosing projects that allowed her to balance her responsibilities as a mother with her creative aspirations. One notable project was the independent film All We Had 2016, in which Holmes both starred and directed. The film, which focused on the struggles of a mother and daughter, resonated with her personal experiences, adding emotional depth to her performance. Though she has appeared in other films and television series since the divorce, Holmes has consciously avoided the high-intensity roles that once defined her career, choosing instead to focus on work that aligns with her values as a mother. This balanced approach allowed her to create a more sustainable career, one that doesn't overshadow her personal responsibilities. Katie Holmes's post-divorce transformation extended beyond her career. In the years following her separation from Cruz, she became a symbol of resilience and independence, particularly for women who saw in her story an example of personal empowerment. Holmes's quiet strength, her decision to protect her daughter from the influence of Scientology, and her ability to carve out a new life for herself won her admiration from the public.
She refused to let her identity be defined by her former relationship with Cruz, instead focusing on building a life on her own terms. Holmes's ability to step out of the shadow of Cruz and the public scrutiny of their marriage was seen as a triumph of personal will. She became a role model for others seeking autonomy, particularly those facing challenging relationships or trying to navigate life after leaving a high-profile partnership. Her reinvention was a reminder that strength often comes in the form of quiet determination and a commitment to one's principles. The story of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes serves as a reminder that behind every tabloid headline and paparazzi photograph are real people grappling with complex issues. Their marriage, divorce, and the subsequent paths they each took highlight the challenges that come with balancing personal beliefs, love, and family under the glare of public attention. The media's relentless focus on their relationship only underscored the broader pressures faced by individuals in the public eye, especially when powerful external forces, such as Scientology, are involved. Holmes's decision to leave Cruz and protect her daughter's future in particular resonated with many, showing the lengths to which people will go to defend their family's well-being.